A fifth grade teacher here at Perry Elementary had a change in calling, leading him from the pulpit to the classroom. Habib, good morning. After Monday morning roll call. Juan, good morning. Teacher Scott Woodburn dives into his lesson for the day. He's teaching kids about the word perseverance. Parents, when you want to give up and you keep going. His students will tell you he often preaches about not giving up. He's like, come on, you got this. It comes easily to Woodburn. That's because this teacher used to be a preacher. For nearly 10 years, he served as an ordained minister in the United Methodist Church. He said at 18, he had the calling to serve. But after turning 30, it changed. But um, I felt that there's something else out there I might need to be doing as well. Coming from a family of educators, he found maybe this was his ministry all along. There are a lot of similarities between ministry and teaching. I actually have people tell me a lot that you're still in ministry. It's just a different type of ministry, and I agree with that. He says the biggest similarity is creating a sense of community. Um, I know at the church, that was one of my big things, was trying to figure out how we could be an inclusive environment for every person that felt welcomed. Well, that's what we're trying to do here. He went through the Louisville Teacher Residency Program, which fast-tracks people who are switching careers to teaching. As the district faces teacher shortages, he says it helped get him into the classroom faster. It's a one-year process to help people that are second career folks to go back to school, and it's almost like student teaching, pretty much the same as student teaching, but it's really intensive. He says as he navigates this new career, he's grateful for the support from both his ministries. I think I want people to know that um, in both professions, it's taken a village. Um, I wouldn't be where I am without so many other people that were lifting me up. And now he's using his life experiences to lift up his students. Madison Elliott, WLKY News.